Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Chris. Tonight I'm going to be doing a really quick overview on the House of Roja, the Essence de Fafam set. I had said on one of my recent videos that I have a bad habit of collecting or acquiring discovery sets that I don't discover and talk about. And I counted them. I have 17 discovery sets, many of which I've already gone through, none of which I have really discussed. And I asked you guys on one of the videos, if you wanted to leave comments, I would discuss some of the discovery sets. And I had several people asking me to discuss some of the discovery sets. So I'm gonna start doing that in a piecemeal fashion. One of the sets, or the sets tonight, is the Essence to Parfum. Um, there is a reason that I wanted to discuss this on camera. The I have been interested in getting my toes um, a little bit wet in the Roja world, but I wanted to. I thought I was going to start off with the Essence to Parfum set, and every review that I saw was glowing. And it's not that. I don't think anyone was dishonest in their reviews. I just wanted to review it myself and get my own thoughts before I plunked down some serious cash on some fragrances. Now, I think that even fragrances or even reviews that aren't glowing in general are helpful. And my overview is not overly glowing. I would say you know, if you're going to charge me $300 for a fragrance, it better come close to rocking my world. I will say that uh, there was one of these that I just didn't like. Others that I found pleasant, maybe not, probably not worth the price. And one that I really liked that I plan on buying a full bottle, not in the Essence because it's too light, but in the Parfum version. So if you want to see um, my quick overview, of the Roja Essence set. Keep watching. So I'm gonna do a quick overview and I did wear these in great detail probably six to eight weeks ago and it has been a while and I did take really, really good thorough notes. So I'm gonna have to re refer to my notes during this overview because it has been a while. Just to refresh my memory, I haven't been wearing them and um, the reason why I normally film late, late at night is that my house is kind of a zoo. But uh, I decided that even though it's about 10, 20 at night, I've got some nice background music. My husband is playing the piano. I don't know how long he's gonna play it for. So I don't have to worry about copyright infringement. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my overview. So I'm just going to pull these in the order that they are in my little discovery set. And the first one is Scandal and as per usual, I will list everything down below since I don't have the full bottles and I'm not going to put a picture of the full bottles up. This is just meant to be a real quick overview. So Scandal, let me get my nose on this to refresh my memory. Yep. So, um, and I'm going to refer to my notes too. I remember I didn't care for this particularly because it is a very white floral heavy fragrance. I can do white florals, they just have to be white florals that I like. This is Jasmine and Freesia. I think other white florals, but it is a little indolic for me. And I and on I took notes that on my skin it didn't smell great. It had a tiny bit of an ammonia smell. It is on the softer side. There's musk in here sandalwood it does become a touch powdery and it's very light you have to like jasmine and freesia yeah those are the main ones i get jasmine and freesia to like this again for a fragrance that's 300 dollars not not my cup of tea so that is scandal the next one we have is reckless i think i did like this one Oh, that's got something on it. That's got Under the Sea and Sky on it. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's get a little spritz here of Reckless. That's very light. Yeah, there's Orange Blossom in here. Yep, so it's Sweet, Orange Blossom, Neroli. I do like that. 
I do like Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom is one of my favorite white florals. It is a little sweet, maybe some spices. However, the problem is um, I have a couple Orange Blossom fragrances that I love. I have Guimauve de Noel that I've talked about in many, many videos that I, I can tell I like it better. It's sweeter. It's really hard to beat that one in my opinion. This is nice. I have it written down that this became a skin scent on me very, very quickly. Got a little bit uh, sour on the dry down, a little bit musky. So again, um, not full bottle worthy at all for the price and the fact that I have other orange blossom fragrances that I love, but it is pleasant. It's pleasant and light. So if you like a light, a very light, quiet orange blossom fragrance, it's a little bit musky, you might like Reckless. So what do we have next? We have Creation R. Okay. Let me refresh my memory on Creation R. Mm-hmm, not bad. So I'm getting kind of a T note like a chamomile tea. Um, it's actually not bad. A little peach, yes, that's it. Peach, it's peach chamomile tea. It's not sweet. It's kind of a dirty peach, almost leathery. A little bit of patchouli in here, slightly bitter. And I have in my notes that it only lasted one to two hours on me, I will tell you, I tested these three separate times. The first time I sprayed like three to four times, which is the normal amount that I spray my fragrances. I could not smell them like an hour in. Then I tested them again. I sprayed them eight times each fragrance. A little bit better, still not stellar. The third time I made sure that I put an unscented body cream on to give them the best chance. So um, yeah, even then, this lasted about one to two hours. So that is, so that was Creation R. The next one is Elixir. And again, I apologize if I'm kind of stepping on people's toes and I don't mean to hurt people's feelings. I'm just giving you my take on this discovery set. Again, there's one in here that I really, really like. So it's not all, um, I'm not all Debbie Downer. Um, let me refresh my memory. I like this one. The Elixir. This is like a fruity floral. Fresh fruity floral. Um, maybe this has peach in it too. Rose. Rose and peach. It's very nice. It's very pretty, very shampoo-y. A little powdery. So my notes say it's a very, very quiet. I thought it was nice. Classy and the dry down smelled like a nice lotion. Um, but again, it's pleasant. It's a pleasant fruity floral, a little bit shampoo-y, a little bit powdery. I really like it, but not full bottle worthy because of the lack of um, lasting power and price. So next we will go to, oh, the next one is my favorite. I love this one. Um, the next one, yeah, here we go. The next one, I really, really like this one. This one was called 51. Let's get a fresh little dabber here. Um, let me refresh my memory. Mm. Uh, a little ambery. Maybe some florals in here. So maybe a florally amber. I think I really, really like the dry down on this one. So my notes say that, um, oh, there's tuberose in here. Well, that's surprising. I'm not a big tuberose fan, but it is nice. There's benzoin vanilla, yep. That's giving it an ambery sweetness. I have my notes that say sandalwood, cinnamon, and patchouli. I believe it, it smells I'm getting a sweet, ambery, floral, 
Yeah, I do detect the patchouli. I get it now. Um, and I had my notes. It was a touch of vintagey, in a good way. So I really, I really like this. This is the full bottle I will be buying, but I will not be purchasing it in the essence because it just, even though I loved the scent, I loved the fragrance, I didn't love the lack of longevity. And I would prefer that if I'm gonna spend money on a fragrance, I want it to last more than one to two hours. So yeah. Okay, the last two are, what do we got here? We've got Creation E. And we've got Danger. Okay, so let me refresh my memory with Creation E. Like I said, it's been probably close to two months. Um, okay, this is a nice, I don't have any notes for these. Um, this is a really nice, again, I would call this a a sweet floral, maybe an ambery floral. There's definitely white flowers in here. It's very light, um, clean, maybe some sort of, maybe it's a fruity floral. I, it's a touch fruity. There's a little bit of a green note in here. Yeah. So again, nice, a little shampoo-y, a little clean, little fruity floral little green note but not anything that I would want to spend uh, $300 and get a full bottle of so the last one we have is danger I think this one is very popular I think it, this one is the popular one okay I remember this now this smells like something I have smelled before. This has, this is definitely vintagey. Somebody in my family used to wear something like this. Um, oh gosh, what is that? It's on the top tip of my tongue. Samsara? Is it Samsara? I think it is Samsara. This is Samsara. Definitely. Chanel, maybe Chanel. Chanel or a Samsara fragrance. This absolutely smells like something from the 80s and 90s. I would say that it is a floral, like a woody floral, maybe. Definitely, um, I think I pick up Ylang Ylang. Maybe that's why it reminds me of a Chanel fragrance, but it is a little vintagey. It smells a little bit stronger. I can definitely smell it better on the card, uh, but this absolutely, now that I remember it is the one that I, somebody in my family wore something similar to this. Maybe it was my grandma, my very trendy grandma, Grandma Jan, very trendy. She always wore really nice fragrances, or my aunt. But um, yeah, so interesting. So that was just a quick, quick overview of the Roja. Again, I said if I can get one to two people who want me to do an overview or want me to do a review, I'm happy to do it even if there's only two people that watch. So that was my quick overview of Roja. And I will continue to do these, um, these uh, sample houses or these discovery houses over time so that I can actually use, discover my discovery uh, sets and actually use them and put them towards perhaps a full bottle or not doing a blind buy. So thanks uh, for those who watched and stuck around. I really appreciate it. For everybody who supports me, I can't tell you how much I, it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And um, if you have any thoughts on Essence de Parfum from the Roja House, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. See you next time.